Today let's learn about one of my favorite software for database management that is MongoDB. Go to mongodb.org Well on the home page you get to see all these things like MongoDB was MongoDB is from Humongous and it's open source software and it's one of the leading NoSQL databases written in C++. Okay, we, you could read all those things on your own. Let's go straight to downloads. You get all these links. Download the 64-bit if your computer is 64-bit based. 32-bit uh, software has some of some limitations please read it there i have already gone forward and downloaded it once you download unzip it and store it inside a folder i have named the folder as mongodb so only thing you need to do is create a folder called data inside that another folder called db that's it wherein all the database activities will be written now what is mongodb MongoDB is a NoSQL database. What is NoSQL database, by the way? If you are coming from any other traditional database systems like Oracle and MySQL, it will be slightly confusing at first sight. MongoDB is a document-oriented document -oriented database system and it's schema-free. What is document? These documents are BSON document now. BSON stands for binary JSON. If you don't know JSON, JSON is object JavaScript object notation. It's a fat free alternative to XML. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format. Well, MongoDB and BSON. MongoDB can be considered as a giant array of JSON objects. Since the documents are in binary JSON format, Insertion and searching will be fast enough. Now, I said MongoDB is schema free because there is no pre predefined structure in it. Unlike in this example, this is a MySQL database schema. In MongoDB, there will be no column names and type defined predominantly. Now, go to the bin folder of mongodb and click on mongod and then click on the mongo.exe file this is the console it's basically a javascript console or javascript shell using this javascript shell i'll be showing some of the basic things to interact with this NoSQL database that is mongodb in our coming videos we will show you how to insert extract search and to do and to query the database we have created and i'll show some of the basic differences and similarities between the traditional database systems and this NoSQL database systems so please stay, stay tuned to our channel and to our blog. Like this video on YouTube. Also pass on this video to your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Twitter, etc. Like this video on YouTube. Stay subscribed to technotip.com.